Okay, so I'd just like to say thanks to the person who told me about this program. This is NamDHC. So for a long time, people have been asking me on a previous couple of guides I did on CHD Man, can you actually copy more than one using CHD Man? And of course, we can't actually do that, but there is a front end, and I was recommended to this the other day, so I tested it out, and I'm going to show you about this. This is a really cool program. So this is NamDHC. So we're going to need CHD Man. What we're going to do is just head over to this website and we can download NamDHC just here. So what NamDHC is, it's a front end and it actually utilizes CHD Man. Now we can actually download both of the files at once or you can download them individually. If you download them individually, they both need to be in the same folder. Uh, we can actually download the .zip just here, which I'm about to do, and that's going to download CHD Man as well as NamDHC.exe. So what I've got just here in my games folder is a few games just here and if I go inside of one of these as we can see we've got bin files and we've got a Q file. If I go into another one here we go so all of my games here they're all in dot bin dot Q. Now if you're new to CHD format what this does is takes away all your bin and Q files and it puts it into one single file known as CHD. It also saves you room on your hard drive as well. So very useful, especially if you're running out of space. So what we're going to do is create a new folder on the desktop folder and you can really call this folder anything you like. I'm going to just call it CHD man. Uh, what we're going to do then is extract from that NAM DHC folder. I'm going to leave the link in my description for this so you can use it yourself. Uh, we can now delete the namdhc.zip, we no longer need that one. And here we go then, so we're going to open up CHD man. Now inside of here, we're going to open namdhc.exe, just double left click on this one. Now this can likely look pretty confusing to some people, pretty straightforward stuff to use. What we're going to do is first of all, make sure under job type, create CHD files from media is selected. So pretty much leave everything here as default. Now we got add files or add a folder under input files. So what I've done is put a few of my games inside of a games folder just here. If I go to add a folder, I can then go to desktop and select my games folder where those bin and queue games are, select folder. And that's about it. We also need to select an output folder. So in other words, once they've converted, we need them to go somewhere. So by default, this is actually going to go into that CHD man folder. All we need to do next then is just press create CHD. And as we can see right now, things are now starting to convert. We've got this little progress bar at the bottom and as we can see, it's compressing several at once. Now, if we go inside the CHD man folder where the output is, as we can see, these aren't ready yet, but we can see they're now generating. So we're just gonna wait for this to finish converting. And you get a very nice little jingle once those files have been converted. So if we now go into the CHD folder, I got four of my games in CHD file extension. They're ready to be used by emulator of choice. And as for those games in dot bin in dot queue, we no longer need those. So we can just delete those and use those new CHD games. So anyways, that's it for today's guide. If you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you get notified every time I release a new setup guide and it really helps out my channel too. Also feel free to join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.